Hey guys, uh, let me talk to you for a second. I know that so many times you might think I'm the old man that keeps harping on the same things over and over and over, but what I need you to know is it's arguably the single greatest thing that I can do in leading you is keep pointing you to truth. You guys have heard me say so many times that we need to discern what are lies and we need to be grounded on the truth that will help us battle those lies. Um, listen. I want to share with you just a quick thing. I need to share my heart with you. I had an hour-long conversation with Kevin Taylor today, and we talked about a lot of stuff. Um, and the thing that I felt like the Lord put on my heart as I called him was just that, that there is an enemy who's trying to cause division between our companies and our people. Uh, and it may be starting out as little ripples, but that he and I, as the leaders, needed to step up and make sure that things didn't turn into waves. And so uh, I want to do a job of recognizing, A, maybe what those lies are, um, and B, I want to do the most important thing. I want to, I want to point you to truth. And so here's the deal. Um, you may be or have heard lies that, you know, Kevin Taylor is this. Uh, likewise, he's probably had guys who heard, you know, Todd Gronlick's this, or Integrity's this, and and I think he said to me on the phone, and, and we both agree, he and I, we, we both did things wrong. That was a long time ago. God's broken us and taught, taught us a lot since then, um, but at the end of the day, we got a point to truth. Uh, we had an opportunity just to, to speak truth to one another, and uh, the truth that I want to share with you today, uh, Matthew 22, uh, 37 through 39, guys. Um, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Everything is dependent on those two things, loving God and loving others. It's the reason why we have a sign on the door of our building that says this company exists to glorify God and to love others. That's what we want to do. We want to love the Lord. We want to love other people. Now, I'm going to drop a bomb on you. That doesn't stop when it comes to competition. We are called to love them. They are no different than any other person in the world, no matter what we've thought in the past. Today is a different day because this truth is the truth that is going to move us forward. I don't care who you see on the lots. I don't care what their shirt says. I don't care what their name is. And most of all, I don't care what they did in the past. The past is gone. Today's a new day. God's mercy is new to me. It's new to you. It's new to all of us today. And because it's new to us, all those things that we may have heard in the past, that we may have said in the past, that we may have experienced in the past, those are just that. They're the past. And we need to make a choice to let those things remain there and not be men who are foolish enough to allow what we see and hear today to be dictated by what we heard, experienced, or thought was said in the past. Here's the deal. Most of the crap that people are saying is about people they don't even know in between our companies. Most of you don't even know the people from cars. Likewise, they don't even know us. So here's the deal. What kind of fools are going to keep saying, oh man, those guys over there, these guys over here. That's bull crap, okay? Let's call a spade a spade. The past is the past. And here's how we're moving forward. We're moving forward with another truth. Proverbs 18.21 says there's the power of life and death in the tongue. And here's the deal. We're speaking life. I ain't walking around with a bunch of dudes who are willing to sling death off their tongues just because they think it's cool and they can nonchalantly talk about their competition or someone else or they did this or they did that. No, 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 no. You're responsible for your words. I'm responsible for my words. I want to lead well, and my commitment to you is to do everything that I can to make sure that I'm pointing us to truth and that by the grace of God, I'm focused on loving him and I'm focused on loving others. Obviously, you guys are a primary part of that loving others, 
But the big, big, big bomb for today, if I had a mic, here's where I'd drop it. The big truth is that that extends to any and all of our competition. And it is not, nor will it ever be okay for anyone in this company wearing this logo on their shirt to go bad-mouthing someone from some other company because that's not loving them. And if we're called to love God and love others, you're not doing what you're called when you do that. So let's do what we're called to do. If we do that, we will continue to experience the blessing of God. And you know what? We need to want it and wish it for them too because they're our brothers. We're brothers above all else. If we're brothers in Christ, we should want to see God's best for each and every one of us, of them. Guys, let's let truth be the thing that drives us. Let's let truth be the things that we look to, not to the lies that the enemy wants to feed us about, oh, these guys are such and such. That's petty and that's bullcrap. It's a waste of time and it's not what we're doing. So... I want to ask you to join me in wholeheartedly being about what we're about, doing what we're called to do. Love God, love others. That goes specifically for every single member of the cars company and team. Make no mistake about it. We ain't bashing anybody. We're loving people.